In this video, I'm going to talk about the Redfin R3800 HD video camera capture system made by Firefly Global as it is used for the Eurolift system. Hello, my name is John Lin. I'm a urologist in Gilbert, Arizona, your humble host of the Thriving Urology Practice Facebook group where we come together and help each other and try to uh, improve our game in this healthcare setup that we are uh, dealing with. Okay, I've ha had the pleasure of going across the country, seeing other practices, as well as having other urologists and urology practices come visit me at my location. And what I found interesting is that not every urologist performs cystoscopies with a camera. What I mean is they are still looking through the eyepiece when they perform cystoscopies. Obviously, that is not going to work out too well when you are trying to perform the Eurolift system procedure. I look for some solutions and I heard from NeoTrack, the makers of Eurolift, and they said that, you know what, there's a company called Firefly Global that produces the Redfin 3800 and uh, you might want to check it out. Well, I reached out to the nice folks at Firefly Global, they were kind enough to send me a demo unit. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid to make this video. I just wanted to share my impressions and let you know what uh, they sent me and how it works. What you get when you get the video camera is something like this. It, it comes in a nice case and you actually get the digital processor that is over here and also the HD camera at 1080p right down there below. Now, to put it together to, to use, I, I'm going to show you how this works uh, real quick in just a second. I also received the optional ES201 LED light source. I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna go into uh, detail regarding this in just a second. When you get the uh, Redfin system, some assembly is required. And um, I'm gonna show you what, what you uh, actually get and how I have it set up right now. This is the actual unit that is connected, and I'm going to show you the actual image on screen in just a second. You have to connect uh, the power, obviously. This is the switch right here. I'm gonna go over the uh, connect connections real quick. Left and right audio channels. I'm not sure what they're used for. This is composite video, and this is some sort of a control connection, which is uh, supposed to be for future use. I actually have two outputs connected to this unit. This is VGA and this is HDMI. The reason I wanted to demonstrate that I actually can get two video signals coming out of the unit at the same time is that when I perform, if, if you are a, a urologist performing cystoscopies and you are using this camera, I want you to be able to, to see the image in front of you and also maybe a slave uh, monitor that you can show the image to a patient. So this is uh, actually putting out a signal to a computer monitor, which is great. Um, and also this is actually gonna be, um, I'm gonna be showing you the image coming out of HDMI in just a second. Uh, this is a digital video out, uh, input interface uh, connection, DVI connector, also known as digital connector, and HDMI, of course. And this is SDI, for those of you who are fancy and have um, a real uh, high-end uh, video monitor. Now, this is the camera connector. What is so cool about these connectors for the power and also for the camera is that they actually lock in place, which means when you connect it to the, um, the device, the, the uh, processor, you can't ac accidentally pull it out in use, which is a nice touch. It's well thought out, and um, I think it's gonna work out well in, in actual use. When you uh, put it all together with the camera, with the lens and the light source, this is what it looks like. And um, I'm showing you the front of the display. It, you wanna set it to 1080p and then NTSC for those of you who you are using it in the United States. Um, the right-hand side, there's a little menu toggle button switch lever. And um, you can go into menu set, uh, setup and things like that if, if you're interested. Okay, let me show you how to put everything together. I have the camera, I have the zero degree Eurolift system lens, and I have the ES201 light source. When you first get the camera, 
it has a cover over it. So if you turn it on and you hook it up, you're not going to get an image. You want to pinch these two uh, levers right here. Once you pinch the levers, the cap will come right off, just like that. That exposes the lens element. Now this is a 22 millimeter coupler, and actually the coupler and the L uh, the LED or not LCD. I'm sorry. It actually comes apart. The camera, the uh, CCD. I'm sorry. The CCD comes apart from the uh, coupler. I assume that you can have multiple couplers to um, attach to the uh, camera itself if you need to. All right. To attach the lens to the camera, once again, you want to pinch this right here, and then put the lens on just like that. The optional light source, the ES201, and um, it's an LED light source. It is really lightweight, about 120 grams with a battery installed. The battery is an 18650 lithium ion battery of 2600 milliamp hour capacity. This has an IP rating of 67, ingress prevention rating. Uh, you can look that up online if you're interested. Um, the it takes about uh, five hours to charge. It comes with two batteries so that you're never out of power when you're performing procedures. And you turn it on by pressing the button right back here and the light comes on out front. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's an LED light source. The color rendering index is uh, 6,500 Kelvin, which simulates daylight color temperature. That'll be important when you are trying to look at cystoscopic image tissue and things like that. You want it to render um, daylight color. All right, to put the light, optional light source onto this camera system and lens, you just put it on like that and you turn the silver ring and it locks in place. To turn it on, you press the button on top and voila, that's it. I did an unboxing video of this setup and I will uh, link it in the video description or I will put it in the card right here if you're watching this on YouTube. Let me show you what the image looks like when, um, when this is all hooked up. This is the HDMI output uh, that you're seeing and I have the, this is actually a, a page out of the June 2019 Urology Times. I'm, it's, it's page 19. Uh, increased reimbursement, reduced take backs with these four steps, an article written by the painters. I'm going to simply zoom in on, sorry Mark, <laughs> on Mark Painter's face. And if you look at the, the actual image, it's, it's pixelated. It's really interesting. I had no idea that this is how the image is created. And the image is really sharp. I'm ex vivo impression, very, very impressed. And if you look at the M, it actually contains black ink and green ink. And if you look at the red, it's kind of a red and purple, which is pretty amazing. However, if you look at the actual text, it's just one color. I hope you are able to appreciate the detail that you can see with this HD camera system outputting at 1080p. And if you look at the, the initial I, it's actually made of dots and maybe rectangles or circles. Anyway, pretty impressed with the, uh, the quality of the image ex vivo. I have not used this, this in a patient yet, but um, so far very impressed with the quality of the video image as well as the, um, the uh, brightness of the ES201 light source. It's fairly, uh, this, this camera, the weight of the camera is, is it's hefty. And uh, when you're actually performing the Eurolift procedure, obviously you're gonna need to turn the lenses one way and the other as you're, impl as you're uh, implanting the, um, putting in the implants from the, to the patient's right or left. It turns pretty easily. So I don't anticipate any difficulties when I'm actually doing the uh, procedure. All right, if you guys have any questions, comments regarding this setup or um, how to get a hold of the uh, Firefly 
um, Global uh, Global's website. I will put it all in the uh, video description. I'll put the link in the video description. If you like this video and you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the like button and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Any questions and comments, obviously leave them below. Have a great day. Take care.